Hello friends, today we will be talking about a new functionality, Ledger Settlement Automation, which was added in the version 10.0.31 in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance. And then further enhancements were added on this functionality in the version 33. Well, this feature adds the functionality to automate the process of ledger settlement using criteria like main accounts, financial dimensions, financial tax, date ranges, posting layers, etc. And this process automation surely simplifies the, the month and closing process from an accountant's point of view, as previously they had to do this manually, but now this process automation basically automates this process. Let's quickly jump into the system to see how this works. Okay, so first you need to enable this in Feature Management Workspace. So go to Feature Management Workspace and then search this functionality using the search criteria Ledger Settlement. So you can see there are two features for this. So you need to enable both of these as these are required to make this functionality work. So once you are done with this, then you need to go to General Ledger because that's where a new menu item process automation has been added in the ledger setup section. So once you open this, you will see all the process automations that are there. Right now it's blank because I've not created any rules here. Let's see how we create it. So click on this button to create a new process automation in the schedule type value. Presently, we just have ledger settlement. Select the legal entity where it should be executed. Click on create series. Once you're done with this, then you need to give a meaningful name here. So my scenario is that I want to run process this particular process on the intermediary account that I use to do bank to bank transfer. So that particular account tend to have a lot of debit and credit transactions with the same amount. So I wish to settle that automatically. Okay. Okay. I wish this to be executed from today, uh, probably from 2.19 p.m. And I could decide whether it should be running daily or weekly or monthly or once. For the time being, let's just select daily. Then you can use these parameters to enable alerts or emails. Okay. Click on next to select the GL code where it should be executed. So I'll select my bank contra intermediary ledger. And then you have other criteria like date, main account, posting type, financial dimension, financial tags. So I wish to enable this, enable the financial dimension parameter because I want the business unit financial dimension to be considered while doing a ledger settlement. You also have uh, this tag financial, uh, this checkbox financial tags, which was added in the version 33. You can also select any financial tag that system should consider while settling a debit and credit transaction in a ledger. For this demo, I'll not enable this. I'll just automate this process using financial dimension. So once you're done with this, click on finish. So you can see a new line added here, and then you can see all these lines on the right side. You can see when exactly this is supposed to execute. So it is supposed to be executed at 2.19, which is like three minutes apart. Uh, you can see all the occurrences here when this particular bad job should be executed. Right now it is executing every day. Now let's see what will be the output of this particular process automation. So I'll quickly go to the ledger settlement tab. So here, this is the ledger settlement form. I'm sure you are aware of this. So here, you can see the transactions of this GL code. You can see that all the transactions in this GL code in this month are unsettled. Uh, we have a bunch of transactions with the same debit and credit amount. You can see that here, but we want additional criteria of business unit to be considered for settlement. So you can see that I wish the system uses this transaction, these two transactions to settle and then system should also automatically settle uh, these two transactions. Okay, because both of these belong to the same business unit. 
and you have other transactions from other business unit which should not be settled in this okay so so when the right time comes this particular bad job will be executed here so you can see that right now it is in the waiting state if i keep refreshing this okay so if you go here in the occurrences section so you can see the status and you can see that the bad job has ended now let's see the result of this bad job so here you can see that the bad job has successfully executed and if you want to see the log the log says the ledger settlement automation has been completed so that means today's ledger settlement part has been completed let's go to see how it has reflected in the ledger settlement form so if you click on this button once again you will see that transactions have reduced because what system has done system has settled a bunch of transactions using this particular rule that we just created and these transactions these this particular transaction has been settled mutually that's it thank you for your time